Welcome to Team Safety Series Lecture 101. Today we'll talk about regulatory consideration when you purchase a ductless film hood in Malaysia context. Firstly, a disclaimer. So this is not to substitute uh, for legal advice, but the information provided here are accurate and up to date. So when you purchase a ductless film hoods, you shouldn't consider that as just a laboratory furniture because it is not. A ductless film hood is a safety equipment and you need to comply to the law and regulation of Malaysia. Ductless film hoods and ductless film hoods are similar in functions. They are protecting the user from chemical exposure. But the design of these two systems are very much different. So the photo shows here are the real installations in the industry for ductless and also for ductless film hoods. For ductless film hoods, basically consists of three components. We call ductless film hoods an engineering control system. So it comes with a hood, which is the enclosure, and also a fan, and an air cleaner. In this case, the air cleaner is the carbon filters, and sometimes you can also stack up with a HEPA filters. So there is no duct and there is no stacks outside of the buildings. So these are ductless film hoods. So a good quality ductless film hood, you need to have a right filter, a carbon filters for the chemicals that you use in the film hoods. So a typical um, ductless film hood will have a special uh, filters can be uh, filters for solvents, for solvent and acids, for uh, chemical with strong smell like ammonia and formaldehyde, and they are also um, comes with HEPA filters for powders and particulates. A, a good ductless swing hood will be able to have various configurations, will be able to stack up the filters, especially the abrasion filters before the fan and also another safety filters above the fan. These are the examples. So when the first layer of uh, carbon filters, which is the operating filters, uh, is saturated, um, the chemicals will not break through because you have another layer of carbon filters, which is the safety filters at the top. So you are always protected, even the first level is saturated. So during uh, filter replacements, uh, we, will re we will dispose the operating filters and the safety filters will be removed and uh, to replace the operating filters and the new filters will serve as a safety filters. So a proper ductless film hoods will be able to have active features where it gives you uh, alarm, a visual and audio alarm to alert you, especially when uh, the velocity has dropped or the filter is saturated or maybe the fan is not performed uh, up to the specifications. The manufacturer of the ductless film hood sh should also provide a free chemical assessment to, to the customers and information related to uh, the type of filters that are suitable for the applications, the, the lifespan of the filters uh, according to the uh, amount of chemical that they, they use and also uh, the configurations, the sensors required for the um, ductless film hoods. And lastly, the supplier of the ductless film hood will be able to provide filter saturation tests where they will use various methods to mon monitor the performance of their carbon filters. The typical method we use are PID meters or the reaction tubes and also a built-in chemical sensors to provide alert to the user. So the, for ductless film hoods, we also need to comply to laws and regulations. The first ministry that we need to comply is the Ministry of Human Resources under DOSH. Uh, under this Act called Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994. The regulation that we, make, we need to comply is the use regulation. Uh, the use is stand for use and standards of exposure of chemicals hazardous to health. 
Under this regulation, it stipulates that the employer has the responsibility to take care of their employees and to prevent them to expose to excessive chemicals, especially the chemicals that are listed in Schedule 1 under these regulations. There are three competent persons uh, under use regulation. The first one uh, is the chemical health risk assessors. By law, uh, every private industry need to perform a risk assessment for every five years interval. They need to engage chemical risk assessors to perform the test and prepare the reports. And from the report of this CHIA, we will advise you whether do you need to run a chemical exposure monitoring. If there is a need, you need to engage a hygiene tech one patients to perform the CM test. And for your fume hoods, um, the CHRA will also assess, audit and also advise you to engage a uh, hygiene tech 2 technician every year to perform a local exhaust ventilation test. So the hygiene tech 2 technicians will follow these guidelines from uh, DOSH. Uh, under these guidelines actually stated that every year we need to engage hygiene tech 2 technicians to perform the LUV test and the owner of the uh, fume hoods would be ducted or ductless need to inspect their system every month. So one thing the ductless fume hoods are different from the ducted fume hoods is there is no requirement to get the approval um, from the registered professional engineer because there is no customization of the duct work, there is no duct and there is no stacks. So therefore, there is no need of professional engineer. So you, will, you may ask, how do we know the system that you purchase is comply and also uh, is up to the standards? This is by complying to international safety standards. So as a purchaser, we need to consider uh, whether the data swim hoods that you purchase have complied to these international standards. The first, is, uh, the first three are the EN141. Uh, SRE110 and CIHAR Z9.5. All these three uh, standards are, are applied to both ductless and also ducted film hoods. And it's actually stated there is a requirement of containment test for all these systems. The last two standards are uh, dedicated ductless filtration film hoods, which is the FNOR and FX15211. Uh, standards for the ductless film hoods and also SAFA 9, the American standard for ductless film hoods. So when the Hygiene 2 technicians perform the LV test, it will um, also require to perform the FS velocity measurements uh, at 0 0.5 meter per second or 100 feet per minute. Similarly, they need to collect data uh, point for 16 to 25 um, points uh, with each measurement point uh, not exceeded 6 inches. For ductless swim hood, we also uh, be able to comply to Malaysia standards MX1042-7 and 2011, uh, which stated that there is a requirement for FS velocity test and also SFC containment test. Containment test um, is basically uh, emissions of SF6 gas inside the enclosure with a rate of 4 liters per minute and outside of the uh, enclosure of film hoods you have a, a dummy with a sensor as a nose level so the amount of uh, SF6 gas that you are allowed to detect is not more than 0 0.05 ppm in order to pass this containment test. So uh, internationally there are two main standards for SF6 uh, containment test, which is the American X-ray 1102116 and also European EN14175. So a proper um, ductless fuel hood manufacturer will be able to comply to both uh, containment tests. So these are the distributions of these containment tests worldwide. That is about the DOSH compliance. How about the DOE, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment? Under um, Environmental Quality Act 1974, 
So good news, uh, Douglas Fumhood do not need to comply to Environmental Quality Clean Air Regulations 2014. Why you do not need to get written approval from SEPIOE? Because there is no dark and uh, there is no stack outside of the building. Therefore, there is no requirement to comply to this regulation. Nevertheless, you do need to comply to Environmental Quality Security Waste Regulation 2005. But buyers do not need to comply to, to this. The supplier of the Douglas Stream Hoods are required to have um, an in-house SEPSWAN competent person, a certified environmental professional in schedule waste management, to perform uh, and to handle those use filters and dispose them according to the Schedule Waste Regulations. The uh, Schedule Waste Code here is SW410. The competent persons will need to follow this step-by-step -step protocols and also engage a licensed contractor and a transporter to uh, dispose this use filter accordingly. So in summary, for a Douglas Fume Hoods, you need to comply to DOSH Occupational Safety and Health Act 1997 Use Regulation 2000 to perform the LV test by head Tech 2 technician, especially when the CHRA is recommended uh, there, there is a need to, for such um, compliance. About the DOE, there is no requirements to comply to clean air regulations. But the supplier of the Douglas Stream Hood need to comply to Schedule Waste Regulation 2005 and they are able to handle on behalf of you uh, the disposal of used filter and by a competent person uh, to dispose it accordingly. Lastly, I will talk about why people go for Douglas Film Hoods. There are few obvious benefits uh, people go for Douglas film hoods. Number one, when the building has no way to provide makeup air into the lab to replace the exhaust uh, air, the Douglas film hoods will not affect the air balance in the lab. So it's an ideal so alternative for a uh, lab that um, unable to provide makeup air. Number two is when the laboratory has no structural access to install dark work. There is no more. Uh, seating space for dark work. In that case, darkness swim hood will be the obvious um, options. Number three, when the lab lack funding for extra dark work. Number four, when the lab has no intention to comply to DOE environmental quality clean air regulations. And number five, when the cost of building infrastructure to retrofit an existing laboratory with a new film hood is prohibited and too expensive. In that case, Douglas Film Hood is the, um, the handy uh, solutions. Number six, when the laboratory management wish to save energy and operation costs in long run, because Douglas Film Hood do not exhaust out the aircon air, so it conserves energy and save um, energy bill. Lastly, when the laboratory is going for sustainable, environmental friendly and to be accredited for Green Building Index and Certification. In that case, uh, Douglas Stream Hood is the obvious winner. In such a case, uh, Douglas Stream Hood will be the preferred solution um, for film hoods. Thank you for your attention. I hope this presentation uh, provides you with sufficient information to help you to make a wise decision for your laboratory.